Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back. Sorry it's been so long since the last upload. Just been super busy with all kinds of other things, but let's get right back into some sneakers today. As you can see over my right shoulder today, we're taking a look at the Parlay Ultra Boost. This sneaker is one I've definitely been waiting a long time for. Since the first time I saw pictures surface online, I was super excited about them. Parlay and Adidas have collaborated previously already on a couple different silhouettes. I believe the first one was considered a sample. Only a few hundred of those were actually distributed and a few lucky YouTubers got them and people like John Wexler and just a bunch of Adidas friends and family got a hold of them. I'll throw a picture of that one right over the video right now so you can take a look. It's an all white base with kind of a seafoam green knitted throughout. I believe the seafoam green that you're seeing is the recycled material that is being used all throughout these collaborations. And with that note, let's touch a little bit more about what Parlay is and who they are. Parlay is a really, really, really cool organization that focuses on ocean cleanup. And for those of you who haven't heard already, I know these shoes have been beaten to death on YouTube already and everybody's done reviews on them. Essentially, Parlay takes all the plastic trash that they dig out of the ocean and they recycle it and that material is then used to help construct the shoes that you're seeing right here. They're saying that about 11 plastic bottles are going into each pair of shoes that are being released. So that's really, really, really cool. A nice way to clean up the earth and also put out a product that is actually going to be used. You know, instead of all that material just sitting in landfills and, you know, taking up space, they can actually create an awesome shoe that collectors and runners and athletes and everybody can appreciate and actually get some use out of. So shout out to Parlay, shout out to Adidas for what they're doing together. Aside from the sample that I mentioned earlier, there was an uncaged version that was released a few months back. And seeing as how I'm not a huge uncaged fan, I didn't pick that one up. I waited for the caged version. And there was another uncaged version and a Pure Boost X that released alongside these ones. I'll throw those ones on screen as well for you guys so you can take a look at those. And before we dive a little deeper into the construction of the shoe, let's take a closer look at the collaboration between Parlay and Adidas. So the first thing I'm going to touch on is sizing. These are a 3.0 knit upper pattern, but they do not run anything like previous 3.0s. They're definitely a bit more snug. I would recommend going true to size with your 2.0 and 1.0 fittings. So I do wear a 10 and a half in those. So I did grab a 10 and a half in these. First I grabbed a 10. They were way, way, way too small. I was lucky enough to grab a 10 and a half. Shout out to my buddy Ryan who hooked it up. And aside from fitting really, really snug in length, they're also super, super tight. And I'm not exactly sure what's causing that. The inner lining here is more of a mesh than we've seen on previous models. And I think they probably just stuck a little bit more padding on the inside of the shoe and that's what's giving you that more snug feel. I actually did take these to the gym this morning. I ran a mile in them and they loosened up a bit and they felt really, really good. So the extra padding is not necessarily a bad thing. You know, once you wear them a little bit, they do stretch out and you know, they felt great. So true to size, like I said, I got a 10 and a half, 1.0, 2.0 sizing. So be careful if you're gonna pick these up and you haven't already, they do not run like all 3.0s. As I said already, the whole upper is the 3.0 knit pattern from the toe box to the heel panel. And while we're on the heel panel, you can see that it's not your normal plastic heel cup. The heel cup is that same shape that we've seen from all Ultra Boost thus far. It is constructed of leather. And then you have that classic parlay weaving all the way around the back panel of the shoe right there. And since parlay is affiliated with the ocean and cleanup of the ocean, they're saying that this weave pattern is a bit reminiscent of waves, as you can tell there. Nice little touch. The next thing that really stands out is this cage. It's not that normal plastic that we're used to seeing on all Ultra Boost. It's more of a fabric material. I believe the inside panel of the cage is leather, and I'm not exactly sure what the outside is. Super nice shine to it. If you know exactly what that material is called, please leave it down in the comments below. I apologize for not knowing. It does have a bit of a nylon feel, 
and the three stripes are padded as well as the eyelets for the lacing those are a bit padded as well as far as the laces go these are probably the same laces that we've seen on a few previous pairs of ultra boost they're a little bit thicker than some they almost oval out a bit they've got a super hollow feeling to them good looking blue laces obviously go great with the rest of the blues that run throughout this shoe right there on the tongue you can see the co-branding from adidas and parlay you got the same co-branding right there on the insole the alternate shoe does have the normal ultra boost branding right there on the insole aside from the upper you've got your classic ultra boost midsole a ton of boost, ton of cushion. On the medial side of the shoe, right there on the heel, you do have the upper portion of the torsion system. There's the under portion of the torsion system right there. The outer edges are a milky white with that pure white torsion system piece right there. While we're on the bottom, you got that super sticky Continental outsole. For those of you not familiar, Adidas does partner with Continental and they provide that super sticky tire compound for the outsole. Great alternative to what they were using on the 1.0s, which wore out really, really quick. The Continental rubber, has proven to last a little bit longer, so that's nice. The only downfall that I could really come up with for the shoe is the fact that it did come in a regular box. I was really hoping that Parley and Adidas did something special, you know, with some recycled materials. Adidas, if you see this, consider that for the next release, but hey, as far as the shoe goes, awesome release, awesome colorway, great use of the materials, and I can't say enough about what Parley and Adidas are doing together. Great way to innovate, great way to add something special to an already amazing silhouette, and guys, that's the Parlay Adidas Caged Ultra Boost. That's all I've got for you today. I'm going to leave you with some on-foot B-roll. And guys, as always, thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Until next time, peace out.